What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a much awaited review. I was like let me go ahead and get this out before y'all fight me. <laughs> but this is going to be like my salute to summer because I'm like I'm done with summer. I don't really like summer anyway. The only thing I like during the summer is like the products that come out. This is going to be my review of the She Scent It Tahiti Cocktail Collection. I still haven't seen anybody talk about it. So I wanted to go ahead and bust her out today. So I have the entire collection with me. All these products smell amazing. Definitely seems like a unique collection. So I'm gonna go take this cute little style out of my head. I'm going to go rinse my hair so we can go ahead and get into the products and we are gonna do a little voiceover in this baby. I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm starting on freshly rinsed hair and I'm gonna go in with a conditioning co-wash. This is supposed to gently cleanse and hydrate and it's formulated with dragon fruit, hibiscus, and passion fruit and it is for all hair types. Y'all, as you can tell by this little clip, it is super duper creamy. Um, it has just a really nice silky feel to it. The first five ingredients are water, BTMS, CDRL alcohol, pomegranate extract, and passion fruit extract. So all the marketed ingredients are really high up in this. Upon application, I was just like, yes, this is Slip City. If you need a nice, silky, slippery co-wash, this is absolutely it. It took absolutely nothing to really get this product right through my hair and thoroughly detangle my hair. Um, I did find that this slightly foamed up in my hair a little bit, but um, nothing too serious, nothing too crazy. This is a very gentle moisturizing cleanser and literally it took me like five to ten minutes to apply this to my hair. That's how slippery it is. It does claim to be ultra nourishing. And I do find that that is also true. I could instantly feel the moisture going into my strands and I was just honestly a huge fan of it. And so I did actually have a pretty heavy style in my hair and even though I didn't use anything like wet line, um, I did have a hard time rinsing it out but I just ended up going back applying a little bit more co-wash to the top of my head and then getting back in the shower and then that pretty much took care of it. So this won't get out like heavy gel buildup, but for what I typically use my co-washes for, it's all good. <laughs> so now I'm going to hop in to the 4 Butter Moisture Correct Overnight Mask. This is supposed to restore moisture to hair that is severely dry and it's formulated with Muramura Butter and Passion Fruit. Um, upon opening this, the, consistently, the consistency really reminds me of the Double Moisture Overnight Mask from Curl Origin. Um, it kind of has a similar look and a similar consistent consistency, but I do find that they're not exactly the same in the hair. Immediately, I will tell you guys that this stuff has amazing slip. Super soft and it's extremely softening to the hair itself. Um, the first five ingredients are water infused with pomegranate extract. There is also passion fruit extract, dragon fruit extract, beetroot extract, and avocado butter. So as opposed to the double moisture overnight mask from Curl Origin, this one is much more extract heavy, whereas the other one is more so oil and butter rich. I do find that the extracts in this really just like kind of plump my curls up and make my hair feel really good and soft. There's just something about fruit extra extracts in my hair that I just like can't get enough of. My hair just eats it up. This also was a really easy smooth application. Um, so I just went ahead and raked this through. I actually didn't even sit underneath my deep conditioning cap with this. I just went ahead and wrapped my hair up and just walked around the house and did chores and stuff for like an hour, maybe even a little bit longer than an hour, <laughs> but my hair was so soft. It was really shiny. You can see my curls are already defined, and all I did was wash and deep condition, so I'm in love. This is definitely going to be in my rotation, and I think I'm going to be buying another one during Black Friday. <laughs> 
Now I am going to go in with the hydrating iced tea. Um, this is formulated for all hair types with dragon fruit and ginger extracts. And this is just like a lightweight leave-in or refresher spray. I absolutely enjoyed this. It is formulated with water, magicaria, beetroot extract, pomegranate extract, and passion fruit extract. And I just went ahead and used this as a base underneath my leave-in. You don't have to do this. It works fine as a refresher, but you can if you want to. And then I went ahead and went into the leave-in smoothie. And this is for dry thirsty curls and this also has dragon fruit beetroot and ginger extracts i love the fact that this is pink like when i saw this on the website i was like oh like the bottle's pink that's cute uh-uh the leave-in is actually pink and i just find that so adorable <laughs> the first five ingredients are water magicaria btms cdro alcohol and beetroot so this is formulated with really great ingredients like all of the other she scented products now, I will say that compared to the other She Scented Leave-Ins that I have in my collection, this does not have as much slip, but for what it lacked in slip, it really kind of picked up in terms of the moisture and the shine that it gave my hair. This is a little bit thicker, um, and I do find that this really does a great job at providing great moisture to my curls, and you can see how much shine it was adding to my curls. It adds a little bit of definition, but not as much as some of the others in the collection. But that's okay because I just love the way that this makes my hair feel. It says that it's an emollient-rich leave-in um, that is nourishing. And I just, I totally agree. It's super nourishing to the hair. It's like putting superfoods on your hair. And I'm such a huge fan of this leave-in. And to finish everything off, I decided to go in with the curl enhancing jelly custard this is supposed to sculpt shape and define curls and it is also formulated with dragon fruit honey and castor oil this stuff literally looks like food like it looks like the kind of custard that she like make and like fill a pie with this is the only custard i think i've ever seen that literally looks like an edible item <laughs> the first five ingredients in this one are water pectin beetroot, pomegranate extract, and passion fruit extract. It's closely followed by dragon fruit as well as some coconut water and castor seed oil. I love the ingredients in this and I'm even more obsessed with the texture. This has a really nice like jelly, slight low, slightly pillowy texture and I just, oh, it's so nice. Immediately putting it on, this delivers the kind of shine that I typically look for that I don't necessarily always get from she scented gels um i find that the last couple that i have reviewed i haven't gotten that much shine and this one is like there with the shine i also like the slip that this one has too it is not the slipperiest of gels but it is very slippery compared to like their curl creator jelly or their passion fruit and flax jelly this one actually has more slip than those two um, and I just like the way that it was shaping my curls. It didn't really add extra definition, which is kind of the way that I find a lot of my She Scented Gels do me. I find that this enhances my definition without adding anything extra to the party, which I appreciate. So I don't have to worry about massive shrinkage or anything like that. I also did find that this gave me a slight bit of hang time, which I'm totally down with too. Um, and I just like how shiny and moisturized and defined my curls looked. There was a little bit of a white residue, but not much at all, and it went right away. So I'm going to go ahead and hop out and let y'all get into these finished clips, and I will talk to you. <laughs> All right, guys, so I am back, and these, as you could clearly see in the clips before, are my final results. Now, this is day three hair. I did take a picture of what my hair looked like on day one. I forgot to take a picture of yesterday because I just, I was just in the dirt, y'all. Like, I just, 
I was going through it yesterday. <laughs> Honestly, like the results from yesterday to today haven't changed much. I, I'm honestly in shock. This is so different from any of my She Scented Wash and Goes. Like any She Scented Wash and Go that I've done. Um, this is so different. And I'm feeling it. Let me go ahead and get into the products in the order that I use them. So obviously, I use the Tahiti Cocktail Conditioning Co-Wash. This co-wash... I would say that this is like on par with the Chocolate Hydration Co-Wash. I absolutely love the smell. I love the feel in the hair. You can see it was like giving me like a, a, a slight, a little slight baby lather. Um, I did have a hard time getting some of that like really hard gel residue out of my hair. And obviously, I typically don't co-wash after I have styles like that in my hair. But you know, a girl had to do what a girl had to do. So I just hopped off camera added a little bit more co-wash, put it right back under the warm water, and it was gone. Um, so obviously, like, days like that, I would rather shampoo the products out than co-wash the products out. I find this to be a really nice co-wash. Um, it's extremely moisturizing, and it did pretty much effectively get most of the product out of my hair with the exception of like that one spot here. I love the way my curls felt when I rinsed this out. Like I truly could have just done the co-wash and gone on to the other steps and just avoided deep conditioning and it totally would have been fine because this left my hair so soft. It was so defined and just silky and velvety and shiny. If you've been wanting to try this co-wash when she sent it, I highly I highly suggest that you do. This is just really, really nice. Like I said, not going to get a bunch of gel built up off, but like who actually uses co-washes for that kind of purpose anyway? I know I don't, so, you know. <laughs> and then right into the 4 Butter Moisture Correct Overnight Mask. And all this stuff. This stuff is so good. It's not... I don't think this is comparable to the Double Moisture Overnight Mask. The Double Moisture Overnight Mask is like ultimate moisture. This is like a couple notches down from that. Um, a little bit more hydrating than the like intense moisture that you get from the Double Moisture Overnight Mask. But this stuff just had my curls feeling smooth and velvety and soft and just like perfectly primed for a product application. This is a really nice deep conditioner. I found that this penetrated into my strands very well. Didn't take long at all. Um, when I use this, I put it in for like an hour without heat. Yeah, I didn't use heat. And this I found to be extremely effective even though I did not use a lick of heat in my hair that day. <laughs> so I found this to be really effective. I think this is great. I think Black Friday I'm going to get a backup of this because this is this is just so nice it's so good then on to the hydrating iced tea it's supposed to provide intensive moisture it's supposed to strengthen and smooth hair um i use this as like my base you guys saw for my leave-in um and it worked really well that way i did find that it provided some extra hydration but sometimes and i find that it is this way for some sprays like this. Sometimes um, sprays like this will make my hair feel a little tight. Um, and this did that. <clears throat> so the last two days I used this as a refresher spray. And this is a beautiful refresher spray. It just adds an extra shine, some extra body, some extra movement, and load. If, if anything, if you use this, just for the fragrance alone, it's, to it's totally warranted because this makes your hair smell delicious like this is just so nice the ingredients are on point I also appreciate that there is vegetable glycerin in this but it is much lower sometimes with certain refresher sprays um I like the moisture that they bring to my hair but then it causes that whole effect of like oh my hair is taking in too much moisture it's starting to feel a little gummy it's starting to feel a little gross um and this does not do that this is really nice. I don't feel like it's essential though, but it is very, very nice. So if this, if you are missing a product like this, if this is, if you've been looking for a product like this, then this is a great way to go because it's super natural. 
it has humectants much lower on the list. And I think that's going to suit a greater, you know, range of people. The leave-in, this is so nice. Now this is not going to, well, yeah, this is not going to top um, my, what is it? Passion fruit and flax, <laughs> yeah. I still prefer the passion fruit and flax um, because this one, it does not have the super slippery properties of the, of the passion fruit and flax creamy leave-in. But one, I love the ingredients. Again, the ingredients are dope. Two, the slip was there, it was nice. Um, three, this one is glycerin free. So I do appreciate having a glycerin free leave-in as well. And the shine that this gave my hair. This penetrated so quickly into my hair, even though I think this one is the closest to like a cream leave-in that she sent it has. Um, I know the passion fruit and flax one is called a creamy leave-in but it is not really a cream. This one is a cream. It says that it um, it's emollient rich and it leaves an exotic explosion of botanical extracts. And I totally agree with this. The ingredients, dope. You have that beetroot, the matricaria, the, again, the pomegranate and the passion fruit really high up. There's also coconut water in this and as well as castor seed oil and grapeseed oil. So great emollients, really great extracts. And I think I've said this before, my hair really responds to fruit extracts. I don't know what it is about fruit extracts, but they add a little bit of extra juiciness to my curls. And then the last thing that I used is the Curl Enhancing Jelly Custard. It sculpts, shapes, and defines curls. Y'all, this wash and go, has me really angry with myself that it took me so long to finally get this up because this is the kind of product that I think everybody has been waiting for from She Sent It. I don't know if you guys noticed, if you go back and look at my other She Sent It videos, I will link them in the cards above. My Apricot and Alipe, the Passion Fruit and Flax Curl Creator Jelly, and the Pomegranate Pear oil and gel custard. Go back and just look at those videos for a couple of minutes and you will see the clear difference in how this applies. This is a completely different application. I like that it gives this glossy, velvety finish to my hair without it being drippy. This one in particular also does not have any glycerin in it. This is the first time I have ever had a product that I can't believe I'm saying this. So when it comes to my hair and pretty much any styler that I put on it, whenever I walk outside in humidity, <clears throat> it doesn't matter how strong it is, how much I love it, um, my hair will feel slightly moist. Um, if you have very fine, thin hair, then I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. My hair's always been like this when I was relaxed and now that I'm natural. When I walk outside and there's any degree of humidity, I can feel, my, it feels like my hair is slightly damp. My hair has always been like this. This is the first product that I have tried where I went out in humidity. Um, the last two days we've had rain and we've had extremely high humidity. My hair has just felt normal. Like it hasn't felt like there was any additional moisture from the air in it. Um, my hair has not felt wet or sticky to the touch. Guys, this is three day hair and it almost looks the exact same. Like this is this is also part of the reason why self care Sunday is not going up today because I could not bring myself to wash this out. I really don't need to because it's only been three days and I deep conditioned. So I really don't need to like deep condition and I'm also keeping that in mind. Thank you job. Thank you for ruining my filming schedule. <laughs> um, but I also could not bring myself to wash this out because y'all, it looks almost the exact same as it did on the day, on the first day. Like, I am shook. Now I will say that 
it did throw me off a little bit just because usually when I pull out my She Scented products, I'm pulling them out because I do want that really defined curl with more of that airy feeling in my hair. And this does not provide that. But I feel like with this line, everything that people have said that they don't find in their stylers or their leave-ins um, was addressed in this collection. And it is so good. Um, this is probably the most unique line that She Sent It has come out with. I am so impressed with this custard. I feel like I slightly over applied this product. And if you do that, I think that you may feel like this is a little bit drying. I don't find it to be drying. It's just, it's so strong of a cast that it kind of almost feels dry. But once the cast starts to break, I'm like, oh no, I'm good. Like my, my moisture is still there. This is the most moisture I, ha I think I've ever retained with a product. I'm not talking about actually getting the moisture into my hair. I have amazing products that I absolutely love that get moisture into my hair. But in terms of retaining it over the days with this kind of humidity, that doesn't happen for me and this did that. And I am just, I'm shocked. Now, the only product that I did not use is the Buttery Hair Sorbet. Um, and that's just because I felt like I didn't really need it. But I will say, I feel like this is going to be a great butter for a um, braid out. And I think I will do that. But this right here, the texture is just so so unique and I am just so like in awe of how it looks and honestly like you could probably get away with using this like as a body butter and have no issues with it I am going to do like a close-up texture shot of it because I just I don't really know how to explain how like Oh, I got it. I got it. So when you touch it at first, you're like, oh, it's a normal butter. But then you feel it like in your fingers and it, it feels like before it melts, it feels like fake snow. Like that, that really like soft, fluffy, um, pillowy feeling that you get. And it just melts down to like this beautiful silky butter. This, mm. I have butters in my collection like this like the one from Alakay Naturals. I've been using that for braid outs and I really like it, but this girl right here, I think she's gonna replace Alakay. I think those of you that love like a really beautiful butter and stuff for like twist outs, braid outs, or just as like, um, this is going to be nice to put on my ends in the winter because my hair does tend to touch my clothes. This will be good for that as well, so. I'm excited about this one too. I just didn't, I couldn't figure out where to put it in this video and I figured less is more. I would put this in the category of a styler. She is having a moment. <laughs> I would put this in the category of a styler, not necessarily like a moisturizer because it does have a little bit of tack to it. <laughs> so yeah. I would still suggest this even though I did not use it in the video. The couple of times I have like put it on my ends and stuff before filming this, I really liked it. And you will probably have this like forever, but this is a beautiful bunny. Okay, so that is it. This is my salute to summer with the Tahiti Cocktail Collection. I feel like it's the perfect collection to end the summer with really. Um, if you have tried these products, let me know how you feel about them. Some of you guys have already told me that, like, you really love the products and you were like, girl, you need to go ahead and try them. So I was like, let me listen to my peeps. <laughs> um, but I haven't seen anybody talk about these products. And so I'm happy that I went ahead and got this video up. But thank you guys so much for watching and patiently waiting on this video because I know it took me forever and I'm sorry. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, and of course, if you are new here, I would love it if you subscribe. We try to have a good time here and I, I try to give you guys the best I possibly can. <laughs> so please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.